Hey, what it do, what it do, fam. I'm King Delight. And uh, those who are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, then you know what this channel is going to do. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to be talking about um, something. And and like I said, it's disturbing because of the fact that um, I done did like three or four stories on this right here, and, and I'm going to be talking about this um, on the Saturday night discussion um, about these bullying teachers or bullying, you know, staff employees or whatever at schools. Okay, I'm going to show you the video, uh, and then we're going to get into this. Okay. New tonight, a Warren County mother is furious after discovering her six-year-old son was placed in a restraining chair, as you see here, inside this closet. She says she only found out after a family member made an impromptu visit. Tonight, WRAL's Julian Grace talked to the mother and worked to get answers from school system leaders. On Thursday, it was lunchtime at Miriam Boyd Elementary School. But when a grandmother arrived to drop lunch off to her grandson, she says she found him like this, in a closet, isolated, and in a restraint chair. My mom was like, no, y'all gonna get him out of that closet. He's not a dog. Why is he in the closet? So my mom said, well, I'm, she, well, she was like, before y'all move him, I'm taking a picture. That's Asia Owens, and the six-year-old in this picture is her son. She says he has autism and he's nonverbal. When she learned of the picture, she quickly called the school and the administration. I have a picture of my kid in a, cl a broom closet that has mold that's hot. I have proof that he was in the closet and had to have been in that closet for a long period of time because he was hot and sweaty. Cruz says she wanted to keep this between her and the Warren County School District. That's until she felt like the administration was slow to respond and lacked a sense of urgency. Nobody reached out and apologized. Nobody reached out and said anything. Nobody did nothing. We reached out to Warren County Schools. A district spokesperson released this statement. It reads in part, quote, the district received a report of alleged misconduct by a classroom teacher toward a student. The classroom teacher was a contractor and not an employee of Warren County Schools. The teacher has been removed from the classroom. We also reported the allegations to the proper authorities. The district also says the allegations of misconduct are under review. While the review takes place, Cruz must decide when she's comfortable sending her six-year-old son back to the classroom. Because I gave them a chance to fix the issue, and they did not. Reporting in Warren County, Julian Grace, WRL News. New tonight, a Warren County. And there you have it. It's a sad shame that this um, mother, Asha Cruz, had to go through this with her six-year-old son who's autistic and um i mean he's in a restraint chair in a molded closet a closet full of mold and everything at merriman boy elementary school by a teacher okay now this is what i'm saying you know they say they removed the teacher and everything but this got to stop. To me, this it really does. It has to stop. Because this is bullying at its finest. We didn't seen it happen too many times. I didn't seen it happen with the aide on the bus hitting on an autistic child that's you know nonverbal in in punching and slapping them about this old lady. You know, the 70 year old uh, preschool worker hitting and, and pulling on kids' heads, stuff like that, and, and slapping them. And then, uh, what was that? Another one where a, 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 a paraprofessional or somebody or something, you know, dragging, you know, the baby, what, 12 feet down the hallway and all being caught on camera. 
you know, this got to stop. This is, you know what? Bullying with these adults. This is no better than the kids being bullied by itself. Like, you know, we had that, I had that, um, did a story where there was a father went and beat up another father because his seven-year-old daughter was being bullied by another seven-year-old girl, you know, which that should never have happened either in the get-go. But my thing is, what if we teaching these children? But now I'm looking here as special needs kids. That's when it goes to a whole nother level, when it's a special needs kid, a kid that can't help themselves. A child that can't even speak up for themselves. And I'm glad the grandmother saw that and took that picture and reported them. Because this really gets next to me when I see if, you know what, teachers. And I'm not going to say too much because I want to, you know, discuss this um, on Saturday. And I'm going to have an open panel on whoever you know, have their opinion, you're more than welcome to come up on this panel on Saturday and, and you know, voice your opinion. And give, you know, what you have to say. But in my opinion, and, and it's sad because, you know, teachers are fingerprinted. Teachers are, you know, have a background check done. But sometimes that don't mean nothing. It's a set, and it's a scary thing. It's the world we're living in right now. I mean, it's like you can't tr trust to take your kids to school or whatever, you know, without them being abused. Preschool, kindergarten. And I know these kids, some of them can be a little challenging, but special need kids, come on now. You're supposed to be equipped to, you know, handle this. That's all I'm going to say right now, but I'm going to say what I've got to say, you know, for Saturday, because I'm going to be talking about this, this particular topic about teachers and aides or whoever, any type of um, educational staff member bullying on kids that can't speak up for themselves. This is your boy, D. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, I love you. And number one, God loves you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Until I see you in the next video, peace.